Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Trailer Park Christmas 2014, where I show you how the Trailer Park celebrates the holiday. I'm so excited because I'm bringing you a video every day until December 25th. There's a calendar that you can download on my website, TrailerParkChristmas2014.com, that you can follow along, because each day I'm sharing with you a new recipe or a craft. Well, who is that? I think I heard the door. I'll be right back. Well, hello. Come on in. Come on in. It's so good to see you stopping on by. Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Yes, absolutely. Look who I found at the door. It is Crunchy Scott. Now, if you remember, I showed this book on my Facebook page. He is the author of Crunchy Kids by Scott Meeks. Crafting, cooking, and celebrating the planet. And what, what's all this about celebrating the planet? Can you tell me about that? Yet? Well, I'm a crunchy crafter, which means I do everything with recyclables. And okay. I try and make it easy, too, because I'm sort of an ADD crafter, too. So I want it to be, I want it to last, but I also want it to be eco-friendly. So I've loaded up my craft supplies today and brought it to the trailer park so that okay. I can make something with you. Well, I am so excited. Look at that. We're getting all fancy and being for the environment. And this book definitely makes a great holiday gift and I'm Absolutely. sure you can get that on your website too. <laughs> we'll, we'll show that a little bit later but what are we making today? Well we're gonna make something with toilet paper tubes. I am so excited about that because I have lots of those because I just <laughs> I figured there was a need for them something other than Absolutely. throwing them away so we're gonna be making that today up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2014 and we'll be right back with my special guest Crunchy Scott. Welcome back. I'm so excited that I've got my special guest here, Crunchy Scott, and we're going to be making a great Christmas ornament that's perfect for gifts, and it lets you get rid of all those toilet paper roll tubes that you probably got sitting around in your trailer. I mean, they're probably in your recycle bin, so just grab those out of your recycle bin. What is that? I'm going to have to <laughs> learn about that. Well, oh, I'm going to have to send you over the recycle bin before I leave the trailer park. Today. Okay, okay. So. We'll, we'll talk about the recycling bin. We've talked about those before, but we have a, a, it's a toilet paper roll. Right, we've got the toilet paper roll, and it's, you know sometimes those little tiny bits of toilet paper get on there? You want to make sure all that's peeled off because we're going to eventually be gluing and painting, and we don't want all that to get kind of mucked up. But the first step is pretty simple, Jolene. You just kind of want to flatten it out. Okay. And that's pretty easy. And like I said, this is a great project for the kids to do too, and you can tell because it's super simple. Like, flatten that thing out. And then if you're... If you like to measure and that kind of thing, I would say about every three quarter of an inch would give you five rings, um, which is what we need out of this. But I just kind of eyeball it. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna let you do that. All right. So you need five. Five rings. rings. And what we're doing is we're making the leaves of a poinsettia. This is going to be a poinsettia ornament. Okay. So just straight across. Yes. Just like straight that? Up, Just like that. Wow. Yeah. And that's actually and perfect. That's a good size. Wow. Okay. So we got the first ring first there. Ring number one. All right. And we got the other ring. There we go. And like I said, you can totally measure this out, but I really don't even bother. And especially when I'm doing it with my nieces and nephews. Oh. I'll get that one. All right. I just kind of let them do whatever they want. If you wind up a little extra, then that part can go in the recycle bin. So we got four. We need one I more. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You need to be Crunchy Jolene. I know. <laughs> I eat crunchy cookies and things like that. That's but we'll, true. we'll have to get to the recycling part. And you know, sometimes it is okay to have the little extra ring because if you end up messing up one of the other rings somehow, you got the extra. So that always works out. Okay. okay, now we've got some craft paint here. 
and I'll do the first one for you. What, so you, we're going to paint the entire thing and there's a little bit of a process so that it ends up being less messy. And what I do is I take a look, I chose white. Okay. So like a nice white points out it. So you can use any color. You can you use like. any color. Red is really pretty, okay. of course, because once we glitter it, it's just going to be really pretty hanging from your tree or hanging from maybe a knob in the trailer park test kitchen. Okay. Something like that. Definitely love glitter. Yes. Yeah. And I actually use glitter pretty sparingly because glitter's not eco-friendly. It's made out of plastic, so it's going to stick around forever. So that's why I like for this project, this is going to be a solid project. You're going to keep this for 20 more Christmases. So. Okay. All right, so what I do is I paint the inside of the ring first and let that dry. Okay. So I'll let so, you start. Keep so going just here. the inside just of the, the ring. Just the inside. And this right. way, it's. Here, I'll put a little bit on the sponge for you. Okay. So just the inside, and we're going to let this dry. We're going to let that dry, and I just, I kind of do all the insides first, and then by the time I work back around to like this one, after mm -hmm. I do all five, it's dry because it only takes about five minutes to dry. Then I do the outside of one one side mm -hmm. and then the other side and kind of let it rest like this mm -hmm. so that it can dry. Okay, this is just like a foam brush. You could probably use like a regular brush. You can. Thing. You can use a regular paint brush. That works out really well. And okay. I'll just use some regular um, craft paint from the craft store. This was like two bucks, so it's a very inexpensive project. Okay. And so you let all that dry and then we go on to the next step. Okay, so I painted the inside, so I'll put that right there. Perfect. All right. Put the brush there because I usually drop it on the carpet or something like that. Yeah, well, good thing it's crafting. We can just kind of get it out with a little water. Okay. All right. And then after that, we'll just go on to the next step. Okay. We'll be right back with that. And we're back. Now we're. What are we doing now? Well, everything we let our paint dry. Okay. on our rings, um, which really doesn't take long, like maybe five, ten minutes at the most, which is great because you don't want to be waiting around to do these kind of graphs, especially if you've got kids in the room. So five, ten minutes, and now what I'm doing is I'm painting the inside of the rings with a little um, glue. I'm using Mod Podge, which yeah, I just have a big bucket of it, that's the only reason why, but you can totally use cheap school glue too, that works just fine. And it's kind of the same process as what we did with the, um, with the painting. I'm painting the inside first so that we can glitter it. And then we'll paint the outside with glue and glitter that after that's all dry. But I've got the inside painted right now. Okay. Oh, I the, glitter. the glitter. Oh, I got, I'm ready for the glitter. Let's, let's, let's make a glitter try. Let's just go nuts here. All right. So Why, y'all? Painting the inside okay, yeah. here. And we have a little piece of wax paper down here. So what we can do, we can, after we're finished with this, we can kind of dump all the leftover glitter back into the tube. So we don't want to waste. Because we learned today that glitter is not eco-friendly. That's right usually made out of plastic so I use it sparingly and I you know I use it a lot at Christmas that's pretty much when I um, break out the glitter and there you go you can see the insides nice and sparkly and so what we'll do is we'll let this dry for a little bit and then we'll do the exact same thing to the outside and we'll glitter it all up and then we'll start to put our poinsettia ornament together wow okay we'll be back in just a moment then we're gonna get these all glittered up Okay, and we're back, and we just glittered up our pieces of toilet paper roll here, and they're nice and pretty and shiny. I guess you yeah. could use any color. Oh, earrings. Nice, maybe. That maybe you could use it. Or like we could that. turn it into a poinsettia ornament. Wow, that, <laughs> I think that would be a better gift. Yeah, they, uh, this is the fun part, actually, okay. because um, you kind of see the whole flower coming together. So I. It, I glittered everything on the outside, except for I left a little bit of space on each side. I actually didn't do that on this side, but that's okay. You go ahead and do that. Leave a little bit of space because that's where we're going to glue them together. So if you got a hot glue okay, gun, I, of course, you can also use just regular school glue for this. Okay. Um, but hot glue works really well, i got to say, for right. an adult and trying to get this all done. All right. So I say I'm, children need to learn right away with hot glue hot guns because you, you get those fingers of steel with you know how hot it is but be careful at home if that's what I always say. I have heard that they've got so. some hot glue guns for kids now that are at a lower temperature so it won't hurt oh, their fingers. Wow. I'm thinking that maybe I need one of those. Okay with, yeah. so I just put it together like that? Yeah that's perfect. Oh wow there we go. And then you All keep right. going around and, and you, you just keep adding. Just go around okay yep. so I'm gonna go ahead and add the yes. So these yeah. are the leaves of the poinsettia. Oh, leaves. Yes, okay. leaves. These are the All leaves. Right. That a lot of people think it's the flower part, but actually the color part are the leaves of the poinsettia. And the little teeny things that are on the inside of the poinsettia that mm -hmm. maybe some people think are seeds, mm -hmm. those are actually the flowers. Wow. So for the flowers, um, I've got some beans here. <laughs> well, I always have that. I buy Dried those, beans. Those 
bag of beans to make soup and I'm always, I'm going to make the best soup ever and they just stay up there. So that would be perfect. Exactly. So if you're going to make a, if you're making a bunch of these poinsettias, then I just kind of leave them in a little baggie like this, squirt in some paint and even just add in the glue and mush it all around and then dump them out on some uh, paper, okay. some wax paper and let them dry and that's perfect for the flower part. Okay. So let's keep to so here. we're just going to keep going here. Because you're going to love this. All right. Big reveal. While you're adding that one, okay. I did want to show you something I brought you. Because I've been watching and I know your cat destroyed your calendar. So, me yes. being the big spender that I am. <gasps> wow, I've got a color calendar now. Thank <laughs> you so much. That is fantastic. This you can download, of course. we got to do the ding yes. ding at TrailerParkChristmas2014.com to follow along. I don't know what happens to all my calendars. The cat gets it. Thank you so much, Crunchy Sky. You're they, uh, well, we can I'll follow put this along. Over here so Thank they don't you. Mess up Thank our you. Craft or our calendar. All right. <laughs> so and one more leaf. One more leaf. All and right. You just kind of poke him in. Something right. I didn't mention. Okay. Oh, that one. Yeah, you can just kind of shove him in down there. Okay. Something I didn't mention is you, which I always forget, so it's not a big deal. But you want to punch a hole in the top of one of them before you glitter it. It's fine if you do it when it is glittered. It just is a little harder to go through. So, all right. See, look how perfect. Wow! Look at that. It's already starting to look like a flower there. Yeah. Take so we'll the add the little ups. seeds. Or okay. The, no, not the seeds. Sorry, the flowers. And, the, and then we're almost ready to. Reveal. All right. So we're gonna put those on there. And we're. I guess we're gonna check back with you in just a moment. We'll be right back. Okay, and we're back, and we put a little twine up at the top, and definitely glitterified it with the the beans in the center, and it's just the cutest little toilet paper two point set ornament that you've ever seen. Yeah, and you know we've done a good job because, like you said, we have glitterified the kitchen, we've glitterified our hands, it's in our hair, so we are like all over this project. <laughs> it is so great. It would make a great gift and yep. perfect for um, your kids or your family to do together. Absolutely, and to preserve it a little bit more, I do spray it up with a little gloss finishing spray. That way you can be sure it's the glitter won't fall off and you can uh, have it for years to come for Christmas. You can pack it away and be sure that it's not to get mushed or anything like that. Wow. Well, I'm sure glad that you stopped by the trailer today to show us how to make the well, us. thanks for having me. And for having me, I did want to say, like, over on my YouTube channel, Crunchy Scott, um, I'm making you a gift, and I'm making it out of recyclables, and I'm making it mainly out of this, if you can guess. Any guesses what it might be? Um, <laughs> something about a recycling bin, which we learned about today. Oh, that's today. right. I got to set that up yeah. for you before I leave. Oh. I can't so, wait for that. We've got to wrap this up so oh, I can help you do that. Okay, well that sounds <laughs> great. Well this was the Toilet Paper 2 Poinsettia Ornament by Crunchy Scott. And of course he's the author of Crunchy Kids by Scott Meeks. Crafting, cooking, and celebrating the planet. Which you can learn more on his website, crunchyscott.com. That's right. Makes a great gift for the holidays. And I just, it's got some great little crafts that people can do, much like this. This is, was so fun today. Get rid of all those toilet paper tubes in your trailer. These make great gifts. You should do one today. And if you do, send me pictures at jolenesugarbaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. Follow me on Facebook. I'm there too. You're and everywhere. I, I am. It just goes on. <laughs> you all know about it. You don't look at it. You all know where I am. And don't forget to download the calendar at TrailerParkChristmas2014.com so you can follow along with all the recipes and even look back to see what you missed. Because I see tomorrow. Let's see odd gift vlog. I'm going to show people all these weird gifts that they could probably get for someone that is just too hard to buy on their list. Oh. Well, I certainly had fun today, Crunchy okay. Scott. I'm so glad you stopped by and knocked on the trailer door. I'm so glad you all stopped by too because we're celebrating Christmas the trailer park way. I love you and I'll be back real soon. Bye-bye. Happy holidays. Thank you. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow Watch out for that big tornado Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide
visit my store at trailerparkstore.com.